Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Leo. This is for the week of August 3rd through August 10th. What do we have for Leo? We're going to go ahead and do it this way because that's the way I want to do it. I just tried to do it the other way, and I didn't like it. So, Five of Cups, Sun Reverse, Ace of Cups Reverse, and the Chariot. So, this is grieving, mourning over loss. Uh, wallowing perhaps crying uh, moping um, not happy at all so somebody's not happy and this could be you or the other person over here we have a lack of emotional support or not expressing emotion tears there's some tears here Leo there's some tears there's sadness okay uh, these first three cards are sadness in your goal is to master your emotions. You're going to need to master your emotions this week. Now, a lot of you are watching this before it happens. Did you hear those words? Before it happens. Okay, so what I get is people that comment underneath. Oh, this isn't for me. Well, this is before it happens. This is great sadness right here. I can't make it up. You could probably get somebody to tell you something different. But I don't see how they could being authentic. That is tears, sadness, grieving, not happy. A chariot is about mastering your emotions. Taking control, finding the discipline and the willpower and the strength and... Whatever it takes from within you to uh, not let yourself be a victim to whatever this situation is. You need to master your emotions this week. It's not going to be easy. It's hard work to remain in control of your emotions. This is about being the master of your emotions. Right here, this is not being able to master your emotions. Okay, You're, this is crying, tears, sadness. And it's okay to have tears and it's okay to have sadness, but you need to find whatever you can within you to uh, master them this week. This is mental strength, determination. It's a card of transformation. This is a card of moving forward. Whatever is happening this week is moving you forward. It's putting you in the driver's seat. It's putting you in charge. It's forcing you to be strong. So you're, whatever's happening, is forcing you to be strong. You're going to be dealing with some opposition this week, okay? But this is also a card of victory. It's a card of victory and success should you master your emotions. I see tears and I see a bit of tears and uh, maybe even some regrets. You may have some sort of regrets. Oh my God, please. Why do I have to be the one to give you guys messages you don't want to hear? because nobody else does oh god oh. it's just the way it goes I apparently am the bringer of uh, bad news for you and that's just the way it goes and, and it, we have Leo here I, I, you know it takes a strong person to deliver a message that somebody doesn't want to hear and you're going to need to be strong this week you're going to need to be strong. You're going to need to uh, courage. And you're going to need faith. And there's some sort of fear here as well. There's fear. There's regrets. There's, uh, you may feel doubtful. You may feel like something is your fault. Or you, don't, may, not, you may be feeling depressed this week. Or something like that. You know, there, there's an element of sadness here. And depression. And whatever. You need to find your inner strength. You're going to need to find your inner strength this week. Your strength is going to be tested this week. Okay? Your, te your strength is going to be tested this week. Now, when you come to a reading and you hear all positive things, that's not really helping you. It's adversity and setbacks. And I'm not saying that this is what I want, but it's... The hard things in life that cause awakenings. Awakening. Thank you, God. 
oh god that is an awakening oh god i don't even need the cards you guys are gonna be going getting a wake-up call okay the meaning of the judgment card is awakening <laughs> oh boy you're gonna get a wake-up call now this is truth truth's coming out the truth's being revealed this is karma being held accountable for actions responsibility being assigned the end of things this is a spiritual awakening. It is a renewal. It's a wake-up call. It's a life-changing event. Are you ready to be judged? Somebody is going to be judged. They're going to be judged. They're going to be judged for their actions. Okay? Somebody maybe end up moving. Okay? Because this is moving. Uh, going in another direction. Traveling. Um, whatever. Whatever's happening, there is uh, some sort of karma here and there is some sort of judgment that is being made. And you're going to need to have faith and you're going to need to be strong this week. You are definitely going to be experiencing some sort of tears and sadness. I can't make that up, okay? Tears, sadness, tears, sadness, sadness. You, you. Awakening could be dealing with a Scorpio, could be dealing with a Cancer, could be dealing with another Leo, could be dealing with anybody. This judgment is an awakening, it is absolution, it's a test. It's a test. So, you are definitely going to be tested this week, and it's this is being judged, being judged by somebody. Okay, King of Wands reversed. Now the King of Wands reversed. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Does it have to be? This is somebody that is unreasonable. Maybe it's you. Okay, this is somebody that is, has a chip on their shoulder that is naive. This is a know-it-all. This is somebody that you cannot reason with that knows it all, that is manipulative and controlling. Okay, so this person uh, is very forceful. Sometimes they, they do things without thinking or they do things in a very manipulative way. Now, you, this could be your energy or it could be somebody that you are dealing with. Um, this is typically a masculine energy, but we all have masculine inside of us. This is somebody that um, is very egotistical, definitely has a chip on their shoulder. Um, impulsive impulsive somebody may act impulsively it could have something to do with a car okay if you're if you're moving too fast this is impulsive behavior the knight of the king of wands in reversed or the knight of wands in reversed is impulsiveness hang man now this could be some sort of punishment for you or somebody else this is, this could be, you know, see the arms put behind the back. Somebody could be arrested. It could be somebody you know, and that could be making you sad. You know, there's definitely sadness here. Oh my God. Queen of Swords reversed. You could be dealing with an individual that is very revengeful or somebody that doesn't care about your feelings. The Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody who don't care about your feelings. It's not about your feelings whatsoever. Nine of Cups, Reverse, Dissatisfied, Not Happy. So something is going to happen this week that does move you in a new direction. It is going to move you in a new direction, no doubt about it, okay? But I feel like you may feel weak. You may feel like you did something wrong. You may be feeling trapped, stuck. I mean, the hangman is uh, trying to prove to yourself. You may be trying, because this is, you know, I don't know who you're going to try to prove yourself to. Maybe uh, maybe there's a judge involved. I don't know. Um, the hangman is somebody that needs a new perspective that re but is struggling to look at things from a new perspective. This is de we definitely have know it all energy here, you know we do with this card and this card. This is somebody that you know I, it's my way, I see it my way, but you could be dealing with somebody who don't care about your way not about the it's about the truth okay it's about the truth it's not about how you see it it's about the truth anyhow the hangman um, refusing to go in needing to go in you're struggling learning some kind of lesson a new perspective is needed this could be some sort of punishment 
Um, this is about growth. This is a period of growth for you. So you are going to be going through a period of growth. You may be, this is like isolation. You may need to go into a thing of isolation. You may need to go into a period of isolation. The nine of, this is going overboard, extremely going overboard. So somebody may even have an addiction or something where they go overboard or they, they've done something to an extreme and, uh, it gets them in trouble or whatever the case is. Anyhow, uh, you could be dealing with a Cancer. You could be dealing with with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, a Pisces. You have Leo a couple times. It could be another Leo. Aries, Sagittarius. Um, but there is great sadness over a um, over a situation that doesn't. Uh, make you happy because this nine of cups is reversed and the sun card is reversed oh, there's a lot of not happy about this situation i feel like you're dealing with an individual that doesn't care about your feelings at all they don't care about your feelings may, they may think that you um are not healthy you're this is unhealthy you're weak you're um you they may think that you're unstable uh now, this is a martyr energy. Now, this is what I'm talking about. This person, and it could be more than one person. If it, this isn't you, you could be dealing with a couple of people that are judging you. Okay, because this is judgment of some sort. You may be being judged by somebody and it really hurts your feelings. And that could be, that could be just exactly what this is. Um, but this is struggling to see things from a new perspective. Um, this is an awakening. Truth's coming out. Some sort of truth is going to come out. Um, and it may have something to do with illness. I'm not sure what this is. This is some sort of sickness or illness. This is impulsive behavior. This is a uh, not a very nice person. You may be dealing with somebody that is not very nice. They don't care at all. This person is cold, 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 cold. And they're teaching you some sort of lesson. This is a lesson. This is a lesson being taught. Okay, lesson being learned. Somebody's learning a lesson the hard way. Um, what the hell is this hangman? That is sacrifice. Uh, some sort of sacrifice. Trying to prove something. Trying to prove something. Got the King of Cups reversed. I don't know if you're dealing with a Pisces or because we have Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. We have Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Okay. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. So I don't know who you're dealing with, but um this whoever you're dealing with doesn't have good intentions or they're not very loving or they're not very gentle or they're not expressing their feelings freely or they have some sort of ulterior motives or I mean the king of cups in reverse is somebody that doesn't have good intentions this person doesn't have good intentions at all and it doesn't have to be a water sign it can be anybody it is a individual that isn't very kind this person is doesn't is it very kind-hearted they're withdrawn they don't communicate well they're very secretive they hide things and there's hiding something here too somebody's hiding something and i'm not sure and then even i'm not saying it could be you or it could be somebody else somebody is hiding something they are hiding something and whatever they're hiding it's going to come out the truth is going to come out somebody may have been hiding something about uh I don't know if it's their health or what. What are they hiding something about? Being held accountable. Somebody's going to be held accountable for their actions. Seven of Wands reversed. <sighs> something they're hiding in their house. Something they're hiding. Uh, they don't want to let anybody in. But people are going to be coming in. People are coming in whether you like it or not. You can't stop these people from coming in. Somebody may be coming into your house. I don't know what that means. Um, you can't hide something. They're coming in. I don't know who that's for. Um, this is overwhelmed. Worn down. Um, admitting defeat. Weakness. 
This is this is a fall from power. Somebody is, and this is weakness as well. So we have weakness here. Too much. Somebody's trying to do too much. They're going overboard, and and they they're going overboard, and they're falling. They're falling. They're falling. So I don't know if they're falling down. They've been hanging on for dear life, and they're falling down. There could even be some heart issues here. Whatever that means. Somebody maybe have some heart issues because it. They just their heart could be getting weaker. Okay. Um. Seven of Wands reverse. That is a fall from grace. It is a setback. Starting fresh, starting from scratch, leaving it all behind. You are going to be going someplace. I think that you're going to, somebody's leaving because this is leaving it all behind. This is starting a new journey, a new beginning. So there is a new beginning here. Once you leave this behind, and you may be. This is like a judgment. Somebody may be ordering. Okay, this is like an order. You know, if you think about the judgment, order in the court at the end, this is how it is. You know, somebody may, may be making a judgment call and you don't, there's nothing you can do about it. It's like, and, and I don't know who it is, but it feels like that it's, it's being ordered. It is being ordered and it's not about your feelings. This person doesn't care about your feelings. There's no money here either, so I don't, there's no money, no pentacles at all. So there could be a lack of funds, a lack of money. There's nothing you can do about it. But around the corner, you're going to be going someplace. You're going to be going someplace, someplace where there will be victory. You're going to be, well, this is behind the wheel headed where are you headed headed to, headed down a new path that's for damn sure with that fool card oh my god ten of wands may have something to do with weight because this is leaving it all behind this is a heavy weight um, headed towards Well, this is a burden. This is a responsibility. Interesting. Now, this Queen of Cups reverse is very emotional. This is sadness. Now this is this is a heavy, heavy weight. It's heavy burdens. It's it's overwhelmed. You're headed towards this is demands. This is being demand. This is demanded. Demanded. You're gonna be demanded to be responsible and to put in effort and to prove something. You're gonna be headed somewhere where you need to prove yourself. Now this Queen of Cups in reverse, this is great sadness of some sort. Self-loathing. No feelings. You're dealing with somebody that, or few people, that are going to be very harsh with you. I feel like you're going to be dealing with some harsh individuals this week. That that just are going to cause you to be overwhelmed. They're going to they're really going to uh, question you with that seven of wands. Where is it? But well, let's see. They're going to be questioning you. You're going to be questioned this week, and I don't know what it's about. I don't know if it has something to do with a vehicle or it's about something to do with somebody's health or their heart or something like that, but there's there's going to be some sort of questioning that goes on where you are involved, and there's regrets and there's sadness. 
Judgment is the end. It's the end of the trial. It's the resolution, okay? It's over. It is. It's when the truth is, it comes out. The decision is made, okay? The decision is made. The truth comes out. It's over. And, you know, you're going in, down a new path. You're leaving this behind. You're going down a new path. So that's what is going on this week. But to get there, there's some sort of a lot of tears okay there's a lot of tears and dealing and I'm not sure if there's an accident because and now we got the knight of wands in reverse this is moving way too fast doing something without thinking you know so I don't know what the hell is going on um, you may be forced to change okay whatever that means because this Hamia is like I don't need to change anything Bullshit. We all got something we need to change. So I do believe you are going to be questioned by some individuals. And it could be two or three individuals. They may, they may, and I don't know if it has to do with another person. You know, maybe you're questioned because this other person is in an accident or you're in an accident or whatever there is. It doesn't have to be an accident, but I, I don't know what it is. It has to do with something that... Uh, you are involved in okay you're involved in it and you're going to be questioned you're going to be questioned this week you're dealing with an individual that doesn't have good intentions this person may be spiteful they may be trying to teach you a lesson. And they get you involved in whatever their drama is. That could certainly be the case. But... I do see that you're going to be, be uh, going someplace else. You are. You're going to be going someplace else. You're, you're going somewhere. You're, you're starting fresh. You're going to be starting from scratch. You're going to be, you're going to be leaving this behind. Okay. This is leaving it behind. You're going to, you're going to be done with this. Okay. Because that seven of wands is reversed. It's like you're, you may feel weak though. You may be sick. There's some sort of illness here as well. Being defeated and falling down so I'm not sure what is what the I don't know what that means but um you could have even have something to do with children you know you may because just happen to see these children just now they maybe have have something to do with children um there's definitely going to be an emotional upset this week and the, but this is freedom you're free you're free you're free you're free whatever that means you're free you're free to go you're free to do whatever you want Look at this as an exciting opportunity to explore, to move, to do whatever. So, but I think you guys are going to be very overwhelmed and very emotional. It feels like this is forced. Uh, it's an order. This is an order. You don't have a choice. You have some people that don't care about your feelings. Whatever this truth is, it breaks you free. It breaks you free. You're going to be broken free from something that has stolen your energy, that has made you sick, that you have wasted a lot of time on. You're going to be broken free from it. This is the universe's way. This is an awake. This is a wake-up call, right? It's an awakening. This is life-changing. So this is going to be a big, big, big week for you. It really is. But it's a big week of starting over. By yourself, 
on your own. Good luck.